What's good, my fellow truckers? Welcome to the Truck and Start channel. So today, um, I'm making multiple videos. So um, this video is going to be about um, trucking school. So do you pay or should you let your company pay? It all depends on you. So um, I'm going to start off by saying um, I paid for trucking school. Um, the cost was about between $3,500 to between $5,000. So, um, yeah, it's pretty costly. Um, but you have the option of also paying nothing and having your company pay for it. So, with um, trucking school, school is usually about um, three weeks. Um, at least for me, school was three weeks. So with the three weeks we had, the first week is your um, prepare for your CDL permit. So um, I was so excited to get into school. So I had got my permit outside of school before I came into school because I had um, an extra two months until I started school and I was just extremely excited. So yes and um you don't have to do what i did but it's all up to you but like i said the first week in school you basically be in the classroom and you're learning um everything from the from the book you know taking the tests and all of that to prepare to get your um cdl permit now um the second week in school what we did was um we moved on to the yard and in the yard is when we learned our maneuvers and the, the first maneuver we learned was straight line backing which in they say is kind of like the hardest maneuver but um i beg to differ um i thought that was pretty easy so the straight line backing is your first maneuver um the second maneuver is you learn your left and right offset Yes, it's two. You have to do the left one. You got to do the right one. So um, that's what we learned. And you're learning all of this in one week. And the third maneuver was the um, 90 degree alley dock or however they call it, different things at different schools. But yeah, you learn to do a, um, put your truck in a 90 degree um, angle. Um, to get it into the spot like if you would be loading and the fourth maneuver is um, You learn your parallels you have your blind side parallel and you have your conventional parallels now depending on when you take your actual CDL um, exam you um, You would get either the 90 degree alley dock or you would get one of the parallel so, um, and let's not forget, while you're learning your maneuvers, you still, on um, that same week, you still learning your um, pre-trip and all of the, you know, the stuff for your truck. So, yeah, that is also what I learned. Um, and y'all, it sounds like it's overwhelming, but you will get it, especially with you doing it um, for over 10 hours a day, every single day. You're going to get it, trust me. At first, I thought, this is a lot of information. I'm not going to get all this. But um, I did, and I'm glad I, you know, trusted myself, and I learned it. And the third week of school is when you actually um, take the truck and practice on the main road. So depending on where you at, um, I went to school in Georgia. So we got to practice on, you know, our highways on our side roads, on our main roads. And um, it was an experience. I'm just gonna say that it was a real experience. Um, you you be nervous at first, but then you, you're you like, um, okay, I got this, I could do it, why not? So yeah, that's how um, trucking school kind of went. And then after your, um, your road week, 
you have um, the week after they set you up to take your actual um, CDL test to get your license. So, um, yeah, in your test, you get a part of the pre-trip, you get three maneuvers, and you get your road test, and bam, you got your CDLs. You go to whichever company, or you jump right into being an owner-operator, depending on however you uh, made your plans. And yeah, that's how trucking school went for me. Um, I would say the pros of trucking school is, um, it is, it's fast pace. Um, if you're like me, you don't wanna do nothing for a long period of time, like, you know, you wanna brush and get it. So yeah, it's fast paced. Um, you meet a lot of great people that can help you. Um, and you won't have to um, owe anybody back. That's my pros. But the cons is, um, this could be a con for some people. It's fast paced. Um, yeah, you have to learn everything and you gotta get it. You just gotta get it. Um, Another con is um, you're out there 10 hours a day. I know that's a lot for some people, um, but I'm used to it. It was a, it was like a job, but a job that I wanted to do. And yeah, but um, whatever um, school you decide to go through and let pay for you, do your research. When I say do your research, um, a lot of people get with companies and then they leave the company after a little while and then they owe the company money and they wonder, why do I owe y'all some money? But you have to remember, they put you through school so they're gonna wanna make that money back some way, somehow, or unless you just pay it all off, you make an agreement with the company to pay it all off. But yeah, do your research. Do what's best for you. If you don't want to be tied down to no specific um, company or anything, pay out of pocket, save up the money. But if you also um, don't have the money at the moment, but you want to just jump into making the money, do your research and find what works for you. What might work for me and others may not work for you. So you might have to find your own um, lane and stuff like that. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about um, trucking school maneuvers you pay they pay and stuff like that but i'll see you guys in the next video and thanks again for watching